Yes, I think the measures that um, were outlined by the Honorable Minister uh, with respect to, you know, areas uh, strategy and, you know, commitment control can actually be achieved if only uh, we can obviously enforce, you know, these measures. And I think that a couple of things that needs to be looked at, one um, is how realistic are these budgets, you know, that are churned out by the MDs. And I think it's important that, you know, the time is invested during the budget preparation by these MDs. Um, together with the cash forecasting, as mentioned by the minister, um, a model, a cash uh, model is being explored to integrate uh, with GIFMIS. And I think that is important to be able to obviously track whatever the MDAs have um, together with what they're supposed to, of course, you know, spend in terms of availability of, you know, uh, funds. Another critical thing that is important for us to, you know, or for government to look at um, has to do with, again, enforcement of the PFM, you know, acts and regulation with respect to the sanctions that have been outlined. Fortunately for us as a country, um, we have incorporated the use of gifts in our law. So it's, 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 a, it's a legal matter that we're talking about here. So entities, and for that matter, individuals that are in the chain of command or are required to perform functions within the gifts and are not adhering to those uh, provisions needs to be sanctioned. So the PFM Act, you know, Section 96, 98, is very clear um, in this regard. The third has to do with also the entire financial reporting um, um, environment. Because as a country, we have signed up to EFSAS, which is the International Public Accounting Standards. And the PFM Act and regulation is very clear on the reporting. And But I think that most MDAs are still reporting on cash basis, which doesn't give you know, government a lot of visibility with respect to uh, the commitments and with respect to the liabilities. And this needs to be enforced um, uh, going forward. So gifts have been mentioned over and over again. And if you look at the 2015 IMF program, we had these actions. And coming into this new program, again, gifts is featuring. The good thing we have done as a country is to incorporate it into our PFM Act. So it's a law. And therefore, people have no, you know, going forward, people have no um, option but to adhere to this uh, requirement of using the uh, PFM Act and using the gift mess as required and not bypassing, you know, the, the use of the system. Because through that exercise or through that, through that process, Government is unable uh, to have visibility of what really um, their areas are, and therefore it affects our reporting and it affects obviously the fiscals. Mm -hmm.